Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to add products from JSON file to, C, uh, to WooCommerce. Uh, first, we will convert JSON file to a CSV. Uh, for example, if uh, you see my screen, then here is a sample CSV file. You can open it with uh, VS Code or you can just open it with plain Notepad. But I'll open it in uh, Dreamweaver. So this is a JSON file where uh, I have some products, um, approximately five to six products. But uh, I'll show you how to convert this JSON first to CSV and then uh, how CSV import to WooCommerce as products. So first of all, open your browser, any browser, Chrome or uh, Firefox or any, any browser you have, uh, type convert csv or first go to google and here type convert csv uh, sorry json to csv and this is the website convert csv click here and it will uh, land you on the page json to csv so here is the json code required uh, open your json code right click and click on select all if your JSON file is correct. Copy and come to the website and paste the code here. After you paste the code, it will automatically refresh the page and will generate the CSV. You can scroll down uh, where you can see the CSV formatted. Now once the page is loaded, scroll down. Here you can see uh, a raw CSV and here you can see uh, a well-defined CSV file where each column have its header and uh, its content. Now click on download result and you will have a converted CSV in Excel file. So uh, I'm using Microsoft Excel to edit this. Uh, you can make any changes to this CSV or you can uh, upload this as it is. So I have these columns, title, category. Uh, I have three categories, uh, images, three images, price, description, and specification. I'll get uh, specification in short description. Description is long description price, image, category and title. So open your website where you want to import the files. Here is my website where I do not have any products yet. Uh, if you come to dashboard, click on products, then you can see there is no products yet. So we will click on start importing or you can uh, use another plugin. Sometimes the default WooCommerce importer is not working because of uh, the format. So we will use a plugin click on plugins, click on add new, scroll down to the search bar, click on search bar and type WP all import and press enter. Uh, we will get uh, WP all import two extensions. One is the main extension WP all import plugin and the second one is for WooCommerce. So first one is import any XML or CSV file to WordPress. Click on install now here and Next, uh, search for import CSV to WooCommerce. Import products from any XML or CSV to WooCommerce. Click on install now as well. This is, uh, this will be used to import WooCommerce products from the CSV. So first of all, let's activate the main plugin and then activate the extension, the WooCommerce extension for uh, this WP all import. Once it's activated, scroll down and look for WP all import WooCommerce add-on. The main extension is now active, then activate this. Uh, but please remember that you must uh, activate WooCommerce before you install WP all import. Otherwise the WooCommerce add-on will not work. Now scroll down and look for all import menu in the right, uh, the left sidebar, click on all import and click on new import. Now uh, save this CSV file uh, anywhere on your desktop or anywhere on your PC. 
I'm saving it on my desktop by the name of convert CSV, convert.csv. Okay, now open the WP All Import Downloader. Uh, click on Upload File and come to Desktop. Now uh, type convert csv.csv and it will now ask me um, which product or which post type I want to add. So here is the post type, create new post, scroll down and create WooCommerce products. These things, these WooCommerce things are uh, because of the WooCommerce extension. If you do not use the WooCommerce extension, then you will not see these four things. So click on products, WooCommerce products and click on continue to step two. Now, uh, here you will sh it will show um, the format of this file, which is title, categories, and all these things are coming right. So click on continue to step three. Okay, now we have to uh, tell the WP All Import plugin which field to go with which field of WooCommerce. So these are the CSV fields and these are the WooCommerce fields. Grab title to the title section and scroll down get description to the description section and specification to the short description. You can add specification to an attribute uh, but I am just showing you that is why I am using these general plugins, these general uh, tabs, these general fields. Okay. Now all other things are in WooCommerce uh, except the images and categories we will uh, discuss it after uh, we add the WooCommerce price. Click on WooCommerce add-on and it's a simple product SKU is uh, not available in our CSV that is why we will just grab the price into a regular price tab uh, or a regular price field. Okay now after the WooCommerce we will add images images are uh, in separate line or you can add them uh, comma separated which means you have to add one image then press enter and then second image then press enter and then third image or you can add them in the same line separated by comma now come to the advanced custom fees taxonomy and categories click on categories uh, and click on product categories each product has just one category no we have three categories that is why we will click on each product has multiple product categories click here and grab category one then type comma there is no next line that is why we will use the comma separated values category two then press comma and we have category three finally okay uh, all we have in the CSV is now uh, on our WooCommerce add-on. Uh, you can save this template to use this CSV again if this type of CSV is coming uh, again for more products then you can use that template again. But I have just one. Uh, you can click on save template and name it CSV or any anything you want and all these fields will be saved. Uh, next time you will select that template from this drop-down uh, uh, it, these fields are automatically adjusted in these uh, WooCommerce fields. Click on continue to step 4. In step 4 it will auto detect the unique identifier. We have title uh, as unique identifier. If we have SKU or ASIN then it will uh, detect that one. But in this case we have the title as unique identifier. So uh, you just have to click on auto detect and it will automatically get that title. Now. Uh, create new products from records newly present in your file it means that it will mm, add only those files only those products which are uh, not duplicated and not already there in your WooCommerce website delete products that are no longer present in your file uh, it means that uh, the the products that are mm, not available in your file will be deleted from your WooCommerce uh, product directory which you do not want obviously but in some cases that is uh, an exception okay this is the update existing products and uh, it will not create new products uh, and it will just add um, the update the old ones okay update all data means all fields will be updated if uh, you choose update existing files okay now uh, you have scheduling option which is uh, in premium version 
configure advanced settings mean uh, 20 records per iteration means uh, one request will be sent for uh, 20 products to be added you can reduce it to five products or one products depending on your server if your server slows down then it will automatically mm, reduce this number and ask you to continue further okay split uh, split up files into thousand records uh, which will mm, reduce the load on your server okay uh, leave all these things empty and click on continue um, in the final step it will confirm uh, your settings and it will show you all your all things you have selected click on confirm and run import and then wait for it it will uh, take about two to three minutes to add these four to five products but if you have more than uh, hundred or more than thousand files then uh, it will take longer than that but you have to wait uh, and do not close this browser until it's uh, done from zero to hundred percent okay after two minutes it uh, says seven records uh, from this file have been successfully added if I come to my product section and refresh the page then um, I can see seven products are successfully added already with images and all these details the categories images and other things are added so uh, this was all for today's video I hope you learned how to convert JSON file to CSV and then how to import CSV to WooCommerce please subscribe to my channel and press that bell notification so you get all my future videos notifications thank you